FC and the boys club what do you think will happen in today's match kabir i think sikkim himalayan's first match was a draw and boys were blew away with the kama storm versus sikkim united yes so i'm expecting a goals galore today too not like yesterday i don't want it that much one sided but i think it would be a pretty good fight what do you think the half time result for the match today will be I think it would be pretty even. No team would attack first or leave too many spaces behind. So I'm going for a 0-0 or a 1-1 draw. Right. So let's talk about the points table. We know Sai Namchi is on the top after yesterday's match. Where do you think these two teams will be lying in the points table today? I think Boys FC needs to get their act straight. They have to get some points on the table. They are currently at zero. While uh, Sikkim Himalayan already has one point, so if they win today's match, they are going top of the table. No goals counted. No goals counted, definitely. So let's wait for the match to begin. We're just moments away from the kickoff. Catch you at the halftime, guys. And we have reached the half time of Sikkim Himalayan FC versus the Boys Club, and we see a very dominating position by the Sikkim Himalayan FC. What do you have to say about the game? Rahul? So Sikkim Himalayan has been very compact with the passing. They have been taking their chances and they have been making runs. So yeah, uh, the score line also says the same uh, in regard to that. What do you have to say about the missed penalty that happened in the first half? So yeah, that uh, that was something that was very unexpected, and uh, it was the first missed penalty of this tournament till now. So yeah, uh, they should have converted it, and the scoreline would be better right now. Actually, I'm feeling so sad for the boys club, taking taking in consideration the previous match and also the current match. What do you think they need to improve on? We need goals in the second half, and uh, they can't negotiate anymore. They have to create some passes. They have to bring on their creativity, and they have to be courage, uh, courageous with their attempts in the goal. So I'm hoping that they make a comeback. Sikkim Himalayan FC versus the Boys Club. What a match, guys! Definitely one-sided because it has also been the highest-scoring match. Six-one, Kavi. Six-one. What do you have to say about it? I think teams facing Boys Club should be excited because a person scores hat trick against them every time they touch the pitch. I don't know what happened. They just turned off their game in the first half, and then in the second half, they never came out to play. Our hat-trick player Uttam Rai, the pavilion man of the match. What a game he played! What do you have to say about him? I see a pure number nine in him, a pure striker. I mean, he knows where he has to be when the ball has to come, and he completes these chances fantastically. Okay, guys, so we have reached the full time between Sikkim Himalayan FC and the Boys Club, and let me tell you what a game it was. Definitely a one-sided one because Sikkim Himalayan thrashed Boys Club with a 6-1 score. With us we have our chief guest Mr. Pincho Namgyal Bhutia, a prominent national player and president of Zongri Club. We have a guest of honor Mr. Kumar Bhushal, former footballer and advisor of Pakyong District Football Association. Sir, I would request you both to please give away the Pavilion Man of the Match award. to mr uttam rai oh, so what do you think of today's match uh, <coughs> it was a uh, one sided game no doubt it was a one sided game uh, boys club was 
not that organized team. Whereas mm-hmm. uh, compared to boys, Himalayan sporting was a uh, organized set. What a hat trick, sir! What a hat trick! What do you have to say about your performance today? To be honest, it's getting a hat trick, and still I'm not so satisfied with my own game because I have missed so many match, uh, so many goals. So in next matches, I'll try to improve all those things.